Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play a fingerstyle arrangement of Deathbed by Pofu. So let's get into it. So first of all, we're in standard tuning and you need to put a capo on the fifth fret of your guitar. So this is like a very small guitar part that once you learn it, it pretty much loops throughout the whole song. So I'll play the first few bars. It sounds like this. So I'm going to be referring to this fret as the first fret, which is actually the sixth fret of my guitar, but this is going to be the first fret, this is going to be the second fret, third fret, fourth and so on. So we're going to try to play this first. So you have to put the index finger on the third fret of the low E string and you have the open B string to begin with. You plug the low E string and the B string together and then you slap. And when you slap, with the slap you play the open D, G and B string. So you have this. And right after the slap, you play the low E string again, the note on the 3rd fret there. Like that. So far we have this. And after that, you play this note on the 3rd fret of the B string, so you have this. And after that you have this. So while holding this note, you play all the 3 strings, the D, G and B string with a slap. And after that you lift this up and you play the open B string with the low E string. So you have this. And then you slap. So while you're slapping you're playing the open D, G and B strings together. Like that. So I'm going to play everything that we have till here very slowly. It sounds like this. And right after that you have this part. So there you're playing the 3rd fret of the B string and the 3rd fret of the low E string. So you plug them both together and then you hammer on onto the 5th fret of the B string. So you have this. And make sure you're also holding down the bass note while you're doing the hammer on. So you have this. And after that you'd let go of these two notes. So now you have the open B string. And after that you play the D, G and B string with the slap and then you play the bass note again in the end. So the whole thing sounds like this. So I'll play that last bit again very slow, it sounds like this. So the whole thing from the start till here played really slow sounds like this. And the next part sounds like this. So the very first bit sounds like this. So you start by playing the 2nd fret of the low E string and you play that with the open B string. So you plug the low E string and the B string together and then slap and play the D, G and B string. All three of which are open. So you have this and after that you play the bass note again and then you add this note on 3rd fret of the B string and then slap like that and after that you have this part. So right after you played this You add this note on the 2nd fret of the G string. So you plug the 2nd fret of the G string and the 2nd fret of the low E string together. And then you slap and play the D, G and B string. And play the bass note again which is on the low E string. Like that. So right after you played this, you have this. Where you're playing the 3rd fret of the B string 
and you're lifting it up to play the open B string. So you have this and then you slap and play the D, G and B string and then you play these two where you're playing the second fret of the low E string and the open B string in the end. So the whole thing sounds like this. So if I play this part again from the start, it sounds like this. Again. And if I play it from the very beginning to this point, it sounds like this. One more time. And after that you have this. So right after you played this, you change to this chord where you're playing the 3rd fret of the A string, the 2nd fret of the D string and the 2nd fret of the G string. So now the very first bit sounds like this. So you start by plucking this chord where you have the A string, D string and the G string. Plug them together. And after that you lift this finger up from the 2nd fret of the G string. So now you have the open G string. And you pick that. And after that you have this, where you slap and play the, uh, the D string and the G string and then you play the bass note on the A string, like that. So now you have this and after that you have this part. So there you are playing the open G string and then the 2nd fret of the G string and then slap and then you play this where you're playing the third fret of the A string and the open B string together. I'll play it again, it sounds like this. So the whole thing sounds like this. And again if I play it slow. So far you have this and after that you have this part. So right after you played this, where you plug the A string and the B string together, you have this part. So there you start by slapping and playing the chord and then you play the bass note on the A string. So you have this. And then after that, you have that part. So there you play the note on the 3rd fret of the B string and then you lift it up to play the open B string. And then you slap and play the chord. And then you play the open B string again. So the whole thing sounds like this. So from the start of this part, it sounds like this. And after that you have this part. So there you change from this chord to this chord where your index finger changes from the 2nd fret of the D string to the 1st fret of the D string. So now you're playing the 3rd fret of the A string, the 1st fret of the D string and the 2nd fret of the G string. So to start off you play this. Where you start by plucking the whole chord, you pluck the A string, D string and the G string together first. And then you play the note on the G string again and then slap. So the whole thing sounds like this. And after that you have this part 
where you play the note on the third fret of the A string and the third fret of the B string together. So you plug the A string and the B string together first and then you play only the B string so you have this and then you slap. So far you have this and after that you have this part. So right after you played all this, you have this part where you lift this up and now you have the open B string and you play that with this note on the third fret of the A string. So you plug the A string and the B string together and then you slap and then you play the bass note on the third fret of the A string again and then you have this where you play the note on the second fret of the G string and then you lift it up and play the open G string and then you slap. So the whole thing sounds like this. So I'll play that very last bit again really slow, it sounds like this. So now if I play the whole thing from the start, it sounds like this. So in the song, this entire section just keeps looping throughout the whole song. So I'm going to play two loops of this whole section. It sounds like this. And to reach the actual tempo of the song, you just have to play it a little faster. So it sounds like this. And that's it for this song. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions or requests for song tutorials, then do let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.